Katrina. I'm Catherine. I'm Lisa. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. I'm Danny. And, and we're Cimarelli. So listen, we're six sisters, so we sit around and we talk about a lot of stuff basically every single day. You should see our group oh, chat on <laughs> our phones, okay? No. It is like... No, don't see it. <laughs> we're just really interesting gals, okay? We do this thing all the time where we discuss everything. Anything and everything. Literally anything. And we did this on, wait, do it for me. We did this on the Cimarelli podcast. And you guys <laughs> freaking loved it. Mm -hmm. The podcast fans were die hard. But I think when you guys heard the word podcast, you thought like, that's for 35 year old people who are not me because I'm 12. So you thought that was weird, right? We know not everyone listens to podcasts. We want to like bring it to the mainstream, what we already do there. Mm -hmm. So we have some juicy topics to cover today. So get ready to hear our takes on all these juicy topics. Quick thing, frequently asked question, everyone's like, where are you guys filming? I'm so confused. I thought you lived in the apartment from Life is Cimarelli. Listen, that was a long time ago. We have moved many a time since then. Many okay? times. I don't know why you still, no, okay. You think we live in an apartment still, we don't live there anymore, okay? We have 20 houses. <laughs> Swiss Alps. Okay, okay, right? okay, we have four houses between us and we all live in different places, okay? But yes. who knows who lives where? So we just kind of bounce around, you know, sit on different couches, sit at different tables, cook at different kitchens. We're gonna start with the first topic and this is a question that I literally get all the time. I don't know if you guys get it, but maybe if you don't get it, that's a bad sign for you. Oh. <laughs> everyone asks me Why this question. Why is competition? <laughs> everyone asks me this. How do I get my crush to notice me? Oh. Nobody asked well, me that. Married. And the other thing is, can you make someone like you slash fall in love, in love with you? Yeah. Oh my god! So we're each gonna go through it. Okay, so I just want to say I spent a good two thirds of my life asking this question and pursuing this question <laughs> pursuing and the truth. trying different methods for this question before I realized the truth. Okay, I'm the oldest. Okay, I'm not trying to put myself first. I just happen to sit here, so don't think that I put myself first Don't at me. on purpose. Ever. Okay? <laughs> Ever. I have never put myself first. Okay, I'll start. Ready? Oh so, God. I think yes and yes. <laughs> okay, I think yes. Wait, how do I get a question yeah. to notice me? Yes. Oh, no, I, I think that you can make someone fall in love with you, with you but it's not going to last forever because you have to do this whole calculated strategic thing and that's not like naturally who you are. You're not like a robot. So unless you like were a robot and you like programmed yourself to do this every day, which you can't, then you can't keep up with it. So yes, you can do it in the beginning. Don't get any ideas, ladies. Just because I said you can, don't do it. Because then once it actually happens, it's gonna fall apart. You'll be like, I can't keep this up. And I'm not saying that I've done this before, but I have. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying if that were to happen in work, quote unquote, would it be real love? Would it be a real relationship? No, it would not. Would it be true? and not um, built upon schemes? I don't know. Mm, Is that a good thing? Nice. That's it's a good question. manipulative. See that to you I say, thank you. Next. Next. I didn't even finish it. Let me finish. Okay, second part. How do you get a crush to notice you? Here's some real advice, okay? So, <coughs> so, it's all about one word. Confidence, which happens to be the first letter of my name, C. Confidence is. <laughs> it happens to be the first letter of all of our last names. C. Except for yours. Except for yours. If you can really own who you are, like get to know who you are and love it, whether you're quiet or loud, it's great because there's a quiet person looking for you, or a loud person, or a moderately in the middle person looking for your level. So you don't need to be something else. Like there are so many personalities. Just own what you are. And when you own what you are, then you literally do start to shine bright, shine far, don't be shy, be, be a, a star. star. You start to be a star when you have confidence. <clears throat> so then your own, your very own personal, my very own personal star, yours, will start to shine really bright when you're confident. So that's how you get your crush to like you. I don't wanna go on for days because they're gonna all say different things and they'll add to it. But basically, you be yourself, be confident, and then you confidently look at your crush, maybe give some eye contact. Oh, I call this giving contact. them the green light, okay? Give them the eye contact, give a little smile, don't do it in a creepy way. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. But you give them a green light and you're confidently yourself, owning it, they're gonna notice it because they'll be like, oh my gosh, that cutie smiled at me, duh. And if they don't like you, 
it's not a good match for you, it's not the end of the world, and then you just go, you know what? You say, thank you. my shoulders. Next. Next. Exactly. You're not bitter, <laughs> you're not angry, you're not mad, yeah. whatever. You're just like, <clears throat> brush it off. Basically, your flavor of ice cream, I've said this before, you're a certain flavor, right? Maybe you're chocolate, but if you were like, oh, chocolate sucks, and you're like throwing grass on top of which no one wants to eat. No one's gonna like that. Hiding under the grass, everyone's gonna be like, what is this grass? Take off the grass and be like, I'm chocolate ice cream. And then they can be like, oh my gosh, chocolate ice cream. And then if they love it, they can be like, yes. If they don't, they can be like, oh, I like vanilla. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. It's not your fault. You didn't make them not like it. It's not your fault. It's okay, okay, I'm done. You can go, you can go. I don't really know if this is the answer to the question because <laughs> I mean, everything she said is already what I think um, about like getting someone to like you or notice you. It's just like put yourself out there. But my you have like a practical tip. No, no, no. My new for a quiet person. My new mindset is this. Okay, I was always very like a coy girl who was like, huh, like giving the green lights and just being like, notice me, whatever, like talk to me, but like not notice. actually putting myself out there. And mm. that just led to many months of me just wondering right. and guessing and wishing and waiting and hoping and blah, oh. blah, blah, like wondering if they like me, wondering what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And I just realized like, I don't have time for that and neither do you. Like oh. if you Praise are interested in someone and you think they might be interested in you, like just talk you to them. You think they might literally, be interested in you. No, even if you don't know, yeah. literally just if say hi. If you don't hi. know them. Just say yeah. hi. Don't say I have a crush out. on you No, 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 know them. no, no, I'm not saying Not do that. Okay, this is my part. No, I'm worried. I'm thinking about all the people that message me and say, I don't know my crush at all. How do I get them to know me? And you say, tell them you like them. No, no, no. I'm not saying tell them you like them. Okay, she's not I'm saying say hi and ask them to hang out. Because if they don't like you, then you can just know then they that they don't like you. You don't have to spend a month or a year or a hundred years being like, I wonder what they think. Just talk to them. Literally just ask them to hang out. And I, as a quiet person, was like, oh my gosh, I can never do that. But I did it and I do it all the time. It's like, just say what you're thinking. Just, okay, for me, every person is like this path that you can go down and it's like, I don't want to spend a hundred years on a path if when I finally walk down it, it's just going to be like dead grass, right? I just want to walk down the Love path, the see what's there, move on. Mm. Thank you, next. Mm. So, so that's what, what if I think. you ask them to hang out every time? Then what? Every time? Like every time you hang out, it's you ask them. To hang out. You realize that they don't like you after you ask them the first time and they don't no, hang out No, what if you. you ask them and they hang out? This happened before. Mm -hmm. And then you and have to ask like them fine. again. And then, then they don't, they don't really text say, you and then oh, you ask them oh, again. Oh, that's a different discussion. Guys, they don't this like is you anymore. Whole whole love it this is a life I'm just telling you now. This is a good question. They don't like you. If you keep asking. If you keep asking, if they're not putting in any effort, they don't like you. So it's time for you to walk down a different path. Time to turn around, go back, new path. Here's a good tip. If you might be worried that you're asking them to hang out too much or worried that they might not like you as much as you like them, stop asking them to hang out. Stop talking to them first. See if they reach out and then you'll know. All right, you with All the right. green hair. What Wait, do you gotta so say? Wait, so it's how, how do you get your crush Can you get you someone to fall in love, love with you? you? Yes. That's the two? Yes. Okay, yes. can you make someone fall in love with you? <laughs> my, my opinion, no. I don't know if I did it. I'm telling you. This is my segment. <laughs> I don't think, in my opinion, that you could make someone fall in love with you. <laughs> Especially from my experience of, well, actually no, my experience was never trying anything and just looking at people and wondering, when will they realize that I exist? I'm looking at them. <laughs> like, I'm looking at them all the time. I'm sitting behind them in church. I'm adding them on MySpace. They just, I was a poor helpless kid. They just never noticed me. And then when I got older, same thing at Lauren's talking about where I was like, I'm going to call men and ask them Shopping. to hang out. I was like, hey, I was at VidCon. I so you already had their number. I literally called this guy who was like way older than me and was like a big YouTuber. I was like, wish you could I was like, say hey. who that was, because it's kind of funny. Epic meal time. Great, <laughs> 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 right, I saw him on YouTube or something yesterday, no, on Facebook, and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember so when we hung out with him. Okay, he has, I think he has a girlfriend now. Wait, is that his name? His name's Harley. Harley. <laughs> 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 oh, no, Harley's perfect meal time. Okay, I'm like, okay. Place in my life, I was like, I'm. I got his number. I was like, I'm gonna call him, and I was like, What are you doing? And he's like, Cause this like this weird man. He's like, Um, I don't know. I was like, Coming. <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> I wasn't like come to my room. I was like come hang out with us in our room as a group. <laughs> yeah. And it was really funny. Was and so then nice. it didn't really like go anywhere or whatever. Was and that was fine. But it was fun hanging out. You walked like, down cool. the path and then you knew. It was fun. So now I'm like, oh, just do something about it. Figure yes. it out. Yep. Same thing as Lauren. Uh, but I don't think you, you can. You know, I think I learned that from you. You. Oh. Oh. Wow. Introvert, stand I just up. think you can only do your part. You yep, can't yeah. make someone like, you can't control what they're gonna yep. react. You can only do your part. So I would say, I don't really know if I have the best approach of dating. This is, on, uh, this is my honest mindset for most of my life. I just thought I needed to make the perfect package. You know, I wanted to look my best. I wanted to have the most interesting things to say. Mm. And I wanted to like be this appealing thing that I thought would appeal oh, to my so crush. Mm. And I have a story of this, which is very embarrassing to share, but I will tell you. Oh. So when I was like, when he, I liked this boy who lived in a different state and I was going on a trip, but not to see him, but I was knew I would be seeing him there. And it was in a different state and I did, lived in California, I didn't have a coat. So I went to the store and I got this really <laughs> expensive <laughs> coat. Like it was way more than I'd ever spent on a piece of clothing. How and much was it? It was 10 grand. It was like grand. $200. What? Whoa! Yeah. What? Cause it was really cute. Wait, that it was a North Face. Face. Wait, and we it have like, a North Face. We coat. have like no income at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Anyway, so I bought this really nice coat, and I got on the plane, and I reached down to like get stuff out of my bag, and I suddenly noticed out of the corner of my eye there was like a dark shadow on my clothing, and I looked down, and my white coat and white shoes were covered in ink. There was a broken pen in the seat, like the seat holder thing, and it got all over my stuff. And I I remember my stomach Wait, just did you cry? dropped. No, I literally oh, was in I shock. She panicked. I had this feeling of horror. It was like, I just spent <laughs> She's like, so he'll never much love me now. <laughs> so I Googled furiously as soon as the plane landed and I had service, how do you get ink out of a coat? And I found you can actually get most of it out with rubbing alcohol. I probably I spent three <laughs> hours uh, that night because I was staying in an apartment with a washer and dryer. I got, went and got rubbing alcohol. I put it in the washer, washed it on hot, put the uh, rubbing alcohol in, put it again so many times. I got most of the ink out. So Long story short is that this boy did not ever, I mean, I think he might've kind of liked me, but not really enough to do anything about it. And he stopped talking to me like and two weeks sure later. And he sure didn't notice He's your dang not. coat. I'm gonna say nine out of 10 boys literally could not notice anything about what you're wearing. So I would not <laughs> recommend spending a lot of time or money on your yeah. clothes in hopes that a boy's gonna notice it because yeah. most boys, some are different, some are like, oh, cool shirt. Most <laughs> boys see a blob of colors okay, yeah, and they don't notice point. your clothes. The point of the story is that I put in so much effort and I was always saying. putting in so much effort. Like if I ever had like a date, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I gotta eat healthy all week. What are foods? <laughs> and I would Google like, what are foods you can eat for glowing skin? You know, like literally just like the overthinking to the max. Like that was me. And then I realized at one point, literally a month before I met my boyfriend, I was like, what if someone just liked me done. as I am right now with literally no changes? Oh. I That thought went in my mind and I was like, Wow. Yeah, they like to be like the real housewives. No. Um, I don't have anything super new to add to all this because I kind of agree with everyone except uh, I more agree with Lisa. <laughs> I more agree with Lisa to where you can't make someone love you. Um, and also I want to say when you actually date someone, which I assume would be the goal, um, then it's really not that hard. At least in my experience, I mean, I haven't dated a million people, but in my experience, like when something actually works out with someone, no, regardless of how long it lasts, um, usually it's not that hard. Like, it's not like I had to go hop, skip, jump over a bridge under the river, you know, whatever, to get to them to like me or whatever. Yes. I don't mean it's gonna be easy, like relationships are easy. I just mean- You're not gonna have to tie them up. Yes, you're not gonna have to tie someone up in the woods and force them to like you. <laughs> yeah. To get them to date you. Okay, so basically here's my thing. I've never been the type of person to be like, how do I get my crush to notice me? Because here's the thing. They always notice me, but I'm always like best friends with them and it's the worst thing Whoa. ever. She friends they with always herself. notice me though. Like I'm actually very good at that, which I thought of today and I was because very proud of myself Amy for that. Is herself. I literally, okay, you get people to notice you by talking to them. Just say, hey, what's up? And have an air of confidence, okay? Mm -hmm. Just like be direct, as Lauren said, and just be like, hey, how's it going? But before you go into all this, have a picture of what you want. Oh, that's another thing. So you can thing. know if you even like them. The only thing is that what I thought about and like the whole godlike perspective is that God gave up control 
to love us and gave us the fact that we have to give up control to love other people just mm. as he loved us. So mm. we have to give up our control of making people do anything mm. and just put ourselves out there and just love other people because yeah. they deserve to be loved. Okay, so to sum all that up, because I get this question so much, I talk about it a lot. I do say the thing that Danny said all the time where I'm saying it is not about them and you trying to win them over. That is the opposite. Stop making about them. Stop dressing for guys and doing all these things yes. to get their attention. What I said was be confident in yourself and just let your star shine. I'm so sad seeing all these girls trying to win over guys like so desperately in a way that makes it makes me so sad because they're like, they can take advantage of them because they're so like, I desperately need you and I'll do anything for you. It's not like that. You don't need to think that you need that. I think you need connection and relationship, but I don't think you need to think that you're nothing without them because you're not. Yeah. So I just want to say like raise your confidence level first so that you don't feel desperate like you need them and you're going to die without them because it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So just please don't think that you need to do all these things to impress guys because you do not need to. Yeah. Don't let them take advantage of you. Put your foot down. You're in charge. You are fully in charge. So, as we may, you may or may not have heard, Justin Bieber has been gone from Instagram, but then he shaved his head, came oh, back. He shaved and he, it? He shaved his head. It was Wait, I didn't see that. His hair was like this long, and then he shaved good it all him. off. Yeah, good for him. I actually did not know that. He shaved his head, came back, and he's not posting that much, but his first one that I saw back, he was laying on like a dock with Haley Baldwin. I forgot her last Haley name. Bieber? Haley Bieber? Haley Bieber? Haley Bieber. Ah! And he called her my little bean. And I was oh, like, oh my cute. gosh, like I would love to be someone's little bean. Like I, I love being someone's little bean. So I want to know, does that make you um, swoon or cringe? Cute. I was trying to think of something that sounds like swoon. Oh. Like swoon or sweep, but I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel about swoon or cringy pet names, which I think most pet names are not cringy. Uh, Starting with Amy. Uh, Got it, yeah. Okay, here's the thing. I don't have much experience with pet names, so I'm gonna go with a, I think they're all cringy. A good nickname for me is Amy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a nice hun, you know, a nice babe. But like, I'm really not one for like, I'm very straightforward. It's uh, cute. Personally, okay. I like variations in my own name. So like, exactly. people call me Danielle, call so me D. So Dan, 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 Dan? Yeah. You like that? Sure. Dan is I actually call you Dan, so Dan. cute. My boyfriend calls me Dan, it's adorable. Um, and I then, call you Dan. Okay, I'm talking about boys calling me Dan. That's weird. All right? Are those the okay. ears anyway, that Anyway, no. But I'm pretty classic, so I think all the classic nicknames are good, and I can't really think of any that I Funny hate. Bear. But, <laughs> okay, when it gets excessive, that's when I start to dislike it. When, what? like, Honey okay, bear. then let's go to That's Kath excessive. on that note. So let's go to Catherine. I'm just gonna name the ones that I don't like from what I hear, but I pretty much like oh, all of okay. them. Well, first of all, when my boyfriend and I started dating, um, I told him that I didn't like the nickname Babe because what? I feel like I always hear people like, Babe, Babe, Babe. True. And it sounds like they're whining, so You're I just sick. don't like that name. She's sick. But I didn't know from my boyfriend because he's a very reserved, mysterious, introverted man that he had this array of nicknames inside of him. I don't really feel like sharing most of them with you guys don't. because it's a private matter. Please they're not don't. like they're not like weird or anything. It's just like they're very <laughs> they unusual. Are a little weird. They are weird, them. but they're not I don't want to hear I'll them. tell you like some of the more Share chill ones. One. Okay, Come on. so the main I'm not doing that with that one. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Really? the main <laughs> The main nickname that he calls me is Queen, and there's many variations oh, of this. So he calls me like, like he knows that I love like <laughs> dumping salt. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have my cringe suit on. Okay. He knows that I love like dump, dumping salt on food, so he calls me Salt Queen all the time. When, I, when there's nothing with salt even around, he's like, oh, my Salt Queen. And then he just calls me Queen of anything. Like when I liked this dish at a restaurant, it was called tikka masala, and it was from an Indian restaurant. And he's like, ah, oh, my queen tikka masala. Like, he just calls me queen for everything. So that's an example of one uh, of the many. Say the real you one, You open he's like, door Can't queen. Give this is like, this is really weird. And some people might think this is weird, but so one time, people. one time I was wearing, I think I was wearing heels. My boyfriend's like, oh, you're so tall. You're like, you're like a tree. You're my, he said, you're my beautiful tree. And then he said, what's your favorite type of tree? And then I said, oh, I really like, Flowering pear trees because we had that tree in our backyard and then he started calling me his flowering pear tree and then that turned into like pear bear and there's just all these like variations. Okay, so then flowering pear tree. Yeah. yeah. So then he'll text me good morning, my flower emoji, pear emoji, tree emoji. All that time. Oh and he calls me Bayberry. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, we have that. All right. Yeah. Personally, I love all the like normal generic ones, like babe, baby, baby doll, whatever. Baby all girl. Those. Oh. I don't get baby girl, but um, and like boo, that's I think that's cute. Uh -huh. But then um, and then I love all forms of all forms of bub, uh -huh. bub, <laughs> bubba. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, Shh. bub. Bubba, Bubsy, and then I started saying Buka de Bebo. <laughs> and then like, Why? and then like, Bubba Dub Dub, like, Bubba Ganoush. Bubba Ganoush. I've said that. I've said Bubba Ganoush. Oh, oh okay. my. I personally think that's weirder than my nicknames. Mine are just more bizarre. Wait, let's have a, guys, please vote in the comments. Who's this weirder? Flower and Pear, do you or Bubba or Good Bubba Good Bebo. Bubba Good Bebo. In conversation, it turns into like, Bubba Dee Boobity Boobity Bob 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 Bob. Like, it's just going. <laughs> we made it that. Scatting at each other. I think that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't like weird nicknames like that. I like straightforward stuff, but also it depends on the person. Like, a guy can call me something weird and I won't feel weird about it if it feels like true to him. Yeah. But then another guy can call me the same thing and think that's really yes. weird. Yep. Like, yes. It yep. just depends on the guy. I usually don't like guys that are like, I don't know how to explain that. Like yeah. excessive, flowery, like flowery, flowery, small. I, I like guys that are more like straightforward. So if a, if a straightforward guy called me something like a little like weirder, then I'd be like, oh well, like it's not weird. But Wait. my take on this, um, I agree with Lauren, but not at the same time. Okay, I agree. It's really weird when someone like straightforward says something not, and you're like, what? Like if you can tell that it's weird to them, and they're just doing it for a weird like yes. gimmick, then you're like, what? But Speak then. I think I'm on Amy's kind of wavelength, mostly, not 100%, but I'm just like, keep your names to yourself. <laughs> I don't want to hear any, eh, eh. I don't want to hear any weird things out of your mouth. I don't want to be called Buka de Beppo or pine cone or any weird things. I do not want any of that. No offense. Okay, oh, listen, pine that's cute. listen, many people. Oh my gosh. My many people, oh, no. many people have plenty of cute names and they love all of their sappy names, I am not. Yeah. Not one of those. Nick doesn't call me anything weird or sappy. Actually, no. <coughs> um, are you serious? Yeah. He <laughs> only calls me weird things to like um, make fun of me in like a nice way, not a rude way, because I would smack him if he did. <laughs> okay, I would not be violent. I'm just saying metaphorically. You would verbally smack him. I would verbally him. <laughs> smack him if he was rude. He's very nice, okay? Wait, so what do you think when he calls you long beard? He doesn't actually <laughs> call me that. He did for a he while, made a, I heard okay, it. Okay, Nick made a joke about calling me long beard for a while, and I was like, what? <laughs> but it wasn't really a term of affection. It was, uh, it was just a joke. It's a different. It was a joke, so yeah, we don't, uh, we do not have anything special, okay. and I would cringe but all so I'm much if we did. Nick's name in Christina's phone, I don't know if it still is, but it was Nick Cute Face Reality. Christina. With a million emojis. Oh, cut! And cut. 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 That counts as a very That's flowery, so sappy. like, cute face? Cute face? Yes. I've never said that in, in like, out loud. I just typed it up. Wait, I have a monitor. quick one second thing is I also love all the candy names, like Tootsie Roll and, like, Whoa! Oh, These two right here. Oh, I didn't like the ideas of nicknames before I really dated someone. I thought it was very like fake and weird and I thought, oh, they're just yeah, saying that because that's what they think you're supposed to do. I th but then I realized that some people are like very natural about it, Max. And some people are just, feel like they're just very like robotic, like, oh, you're my girlfriend. Now I call Who you a called nickname. you guys like, Hello, Hubble Telescope. <laughs> and you're like, hey, oh, what? That, you guys act like all these like really no, weird people. No, I'm saying like, I saw people. Names. I saw people call. Other, no, like, you see it like, on the on internet. internet. I and I thought oh, it was yeah. weird. I was like, but so let's be real. When you're in a relationship, it's completely different. It's like, different. I'm sure it's different if someone called me flowering pear tree and I was dating them and like it's I liked cute. flowering I like pear it. trees, I'd I probably like it. If Evan called you that, but hearing about it is disturbing, but it is. experiencing it is a whole different thing, okay. so we don't know. Guys, John, guys just because you want to move on doesn't mean you can speak while I'm speaking, yeah. okay? One topic that we're really passionate about is self-care, and we wanted to... You sound like you're doing an ad right now. What? It literally sounds like we're about to say, so that's why we love to use this product. <laughs> <laughs> it literally sounded like it was about to be a sponsored thing. Hey, but who cares? No, I can't do it. That's weird. No, what are we supposed to do? Just try again. Ready, go. I think you're tell, tell, tell us. Wait, say it to us. Wait, say it to us. Okay. So, okay, guys. So, so guys, we love talking about self care, don't we? Yeah, yeah we, we do. do. We do. We're really passionate about uh, it. I yeah. X myself out of this. Really I don't talk about this. I don't do it, and I can't relate. So I'd like to hear their ideas because I don't know. We get asked about it a lot. Like people are like, "What do you do to take care of yourself?" Like people want the tips, so we're here mm -hmm. to deliver them. I want the tips. 
I don't know. What is your favorite way to take care of yourself? <laughs> Feels weird asking you, Amy. Uh, oh, all right. Okay. But I'm actually gonna answer it first, even though I just asked. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The question oh. is, what's your favorite way to take care of yourself? How is that not Kat. an ad? It's not an ad. Cat, tell, tell me. <laughs> I could speak from experience that I had a bad, a really bad. I actually have been having a lot of bad nights lately, oh, honestly. Oh, You know, I've been, I've been going through it. <laughs> Diving down into the depths of the dark part of my soul and just walking around and saying, who am I? But anyway, I had a really bad night a few weeks ago and I feel like I relived it many times. But what I did was I went into my room and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this take over me. So I was like, what can I do? What can I do right now? And I looked around and I saw some candles, lit them. And then I was like, music. Lit. Turn on my phone, worship music, always uplifts me. You? Um, so I got the smells going, got the, the ambiance. I lit my salt lamp, I put on my Christmas lights, so it was very pretty. And then I took a nice long hot shower. To me, water is like healing, soothing. That's what I do. Water, smells, sights. I guess I'm a very sensory person. That's All what right. I do. Okay, so you make a good environment and then you... Um, yeah, I just improve my cool. environment. Please? I do that so it's one of your favorite ways. Lauren's I got like that. One. I, Lauren is literally cat's <laughs> Okay, mom, one of your favorite ways. No, I'm telling Lisa. For me, there's only two ways, which is like taking care of myself physically or journaling. I, I don't know what else I would do besides journaling to get my mind straight. Like, I just don't know. So I literally just write out. I'm like, try to do it every morning when I wake up lately. Cause usually I wake up like feeling whatever I was feeling yesterday. Cause I've processed it all night. So I'm, I wake up and I'm like, I feel like garbage. And then I just write it all out. And then at the end I get to the positivity and I'm like, okay, I'm a good person. I'm lovable. I'm beautiful. Aww. I write out the opposite of whatever I woke up Aww. feeling. Aww. And then it makes me feel much better. But journaling is the way, like I would be a sham of a, of a pea pod if I wasn't for journaling. Um, this is, <laughs> this, <laughs> love that for you. This doesn't um, Encompass? come to mind first. Wait, what is it? People don't think about this, so I think. Yeah, sure. People don't really think about this, but I think that cleaning your room mm. and your bathroom Ooh, yes. is the best self-care. True. Maybe not best, but it's like anything, any self-care thing you're going to do, if you do it in a clean room or a clean mm -hmm. bathroom, it just feels so much better. Mm -hmm. So clean your room and clean your bathroom and then do some self-care stuff and you will feel much better. I do all those. So I'll add to this um, walks. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Walks just saved me so many times. Going on a walk is definitely one of my best forms of self-care because I can really think over everything. So going on a walk. And actually I recently discovered cutting out or cutting way down sugar and pro really processed wheat and dairy dramatically changed my mood after about 10 days, like dramatically. So that's actually, eating like really healthy is like a really good form of self care for me, as much as it pains me, <laughs> but it really <laughs> helps. So walking and eating healthy. While you walk. Cause when you can walk, sorry. When you're on a walk, you can think really clearly. It's something about like both of your sides of your body and both of your sides of your brain getting engaged. It helps you to think through things, which really helps you to move past whatever it is that you're trying to numb yourself out from or like avoid. So oh, love a good walk. I want to add something. If you want to get out of the house, if you've been wallowing, if you've processed your feelings, you wrote in your journal, you cried for a long time, you did the healthy steps before you did this, um, and you wanna just, you know, move on a little bit, maybe not think about it for a little bit, then, like a problem going on in your life, which is my favorite thing to do, I would recommend going to the movies by yourself. It's like my favorite thing ever, and it's honestly a form of self-care for myself. Like I go, I get my popcorn. You know, old ladies do this a lot. And I feel like it just really connects Aww. me with my soul. Aww. Just because old ladies do it. So uh, I'm probably gonna do it tonight. Picturing you would you just makes me feel so warm inside. Yeah, it's like you go, you sit by yourself, you got your popcorn, you just watch a movie, and then you just go home. And it feels great. But I'm saying, don't do this to avoid your problems. Do this after you've already gone through things. And you're like, all right, now I'm just kind of ruminating and I wanna just get off of it. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say walking in the rain, my favorite oh. thing <laughs> ever. And then so it's so <laughs> care to me. She's like, you want to get a cold? Walk in the rain. If it's summer, you don't get a cold. The and then bed. the other thing is taking a, a candlelit bath. Oh yeah. And oh. listening to really loud, sad music and Linny, uh, Linny crying <laughs> and singing <laughs> really loud. Crying and singing. <laughs> Lining. Oh, Amy's in the bath. That. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> thank you. I want to say something. Okay. Do not limit yourself to the fluorescent light bulbs installed in your ceiling. Okay? Whoa. Do not limit yourself. 
If you wanna have a moody atmosphere and you don't know how to do it, turn off the dang lights, get like three candles, it'll light up the whole room, like your bathroom especially. Turn off the lights and plug in like, a, if you have a salt lamp, I have one. If you have like a more dim lamp, if you got fairy lights, if you have candles, literally anything yeah. other than the lights in your ceiling back to will make the mood better. Back to Lauren's point, please don't do it in a room of filth. If your yeah. room is filthy, you're gonna feel clean so depressed. It. Oh. Clean it. Clean, make your clean, bed. Clean. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Um, hey guys, so this is a really cool sweatshirt that I know you sure. love. It says it's Christmas like 30 times and there's bells on the sleeves. What's more festive? Can you tell me anything? No. no. So you can hit this one up on um, simreallymusic.com slash store for only $34.95. Whoa! <laughs> How do you say that? Listen to that and pitch. My shirt, uh, I'm not good at being a commercial like Lauren. <laughs> but it's really cool and it's on our website. <laughs> See? Look at the sleeves, they Look, say I, I love say you. you. Or whatever. Oh my gosh, this is how you get your crush to notice you. Wear this like shirt, this. and then he'll know that you love him. I just want to say, I personally designed the sleeves of these shirts, so support your local artists and get the shirt. <laughs> we are all going to be in the comment section of this video, actually every video, because we each cared about this so much that we scheduled a time for each of us to be on the comments. We didn't want to make sure two of us were on at once because sometimes, I think it was Amy and I were on the same time, so I was trying to reply to comments and then as soon as I replied, it showed me that she already replied and then it had two replies from Simrelli and I was like, that is so weird. Amy's like, oh my gosh, ha ha ha. And then I did like a whole thing and I was like, it looks like, why would you respond twice? Okay, whatever. So we're all gonna be responding to comments. So I need to know what you guys think. These were some heated topics that we just discussed and we all had strong opinions. And you know, I know YouTube commenters love to tell people that they're wrong. So tell us, are tell we wrong? Tell us your answers to all the questions. Are we, we right? Are we dumb? Are we smart? <laughs> you decide. <laughs> so if you want to debate with us, just kidding. We're probably not gonna be doing that. Maybe. I hate debates. Oranges are up. Yeah, I, right. I, hey, I love debates. I if you want to get in one, hit me up. Come see us in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. <laughs> see us live. If you guys love this, let us know because we'll film a lot more of these. Like we can yeah. do this all freaking Good. day. Let I'll us know. Do it. And in the meantime, if you're desperate because you love this so much, then go <laughs> listen to every single one of our podcasts because they're literally this but longer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Next! Just kidding, ready? Thanks for watching! We love the Sin Fam! See us in 3D! <laughs> cut me, cut me. Stop! Lauren, Lauren, it's like when people are coming to social media. Lauren! Couldn't tell us. Ready? ready? Okay. I would have like my metaphorical <laughs> tennis racket and I'd be like... <laughs> Don't be a hobgoblin. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Here I am on a couch in an unknown location. I was blindfolded, I just woke up here. Shh. Amy. Amy, oh you fuck. can't just yell. Love. No, I can type it many times. Like, hey, baby, at the door. I can like, type it many times. Okay, I just wanted to say that. Okay, you okay. cut me it, off. But you can't okay. say you it. My whole sentence. You already said it. Okay, so mine. Speaking again. <laughs> oh, he's got you. I'm never like, talking again. Oh my god. Okay, so hey guys. So one topic that we're really passionate about, and I just decided to give that intro a little. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a little, a little electric, no, electric, electric shock. No, okay. Oh my gosh, you just looked like that upside down orange so much. <laughs> Upside, upside down. down. What's the Donald orange. Trump annoying orange or whatever? Or is that what it is? No, it's right. just the annoying orange. Wait, what's the thing where they flip the mouth upside down on the face? Wait, you think that's Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs>